When I started on camera, um, of course, I knew nothing about, you know, what would look good on TV. Um, you know, so I had to have a, a wardrobe consultant to come in and, and to tell me, okay, this style dress looks best, you know, because at that time, there was a certain um, criteria that we had to meet to be on camera in terms of, you know, we had to wear suits at that time. And then eventually, say 10 years later, then it got a little more casual, you know, and then a little more trendy, and then a little more, you know, you know, just, you know, uh, 21st century, you know, just, just as fashion changes, you know. So, um, so in the beginning, you know, fashion was nowhere near my forte. I didn't know. I'm like, I'm a meteorologist. I'm not a cosmetologist. I'm not a, you know, wardrobe consultant. I don't know any of this. And so they did have someone to come in and, you know, help me choose, you know, my wardrobe and everything. Is it your own clothes or is it provided? Well, um, we do get like a clothing allowance, you know, and, and a clothing consultant that helps us, you know. What about the hair and makeup? Well, we have a makeup artist uh, that comes in, so that, that we didn't have in the beginning, you know, <laughs> so that's why. Oh, my tapes, oh, back in the day, you know, with hair, big hair and, you know, the makeup that I put on myself. But even when I ran track, you know, people used to call me the country Flojo because I was from Mississippi, you know, but Flojo, of course, was from Southern California. And, you know, she's always been very glamorous and gorgeous. I mean, I ran against her when I was in college, you know. And um, so I remember Florence Griffith Joyner even before she became Flojo, you know. So back in the day. And even back then, she was very glamorous. And I mean, she stood out in the crowd, you know. And so people used to call me the country Flojo, you know, because I always wore my makeup and stuff too. Of course, I wasn't as glamorous as she was because I was from Mississippi and she was from Southern California. But um, so I already knew a little bit about, you know, makeup and how to, you know, apply makeup and comb my hair a little bit, but I didn't know how to do that for television, if you will, you know. So gradually, you know, after doing it for so long, you kind of get um, an idea of, of how, you know, what looks best on you on TV. Because a lot of times, what looks good off TV, I know will not look good on TV and vice versa. So when I go and shop, or even go with my clothing consultant. I, you know, kind of have a little edge because I know I don't think that would look good on TV, you know? Oh, I think that would look good on TV, you know? So I have almost two different wardrobes, you know what I mean? This is what I could wear on TV and, you know, this is what I wear, you know, regularly. And how long does it take you, to, once you get, uh, get into the studio, how long does it take you to prep um, before you can be with camera ready? Well, it takes about an hour, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get hair and makeup. And um, typically I would wear my um, clothes in. Or um, if, I, if I'm wearing like linen or something that I know will get wrinkled, you know, by sitting around and putting together the forecast and stuff, then I will just bring it in and wear blue jeans or whatever. But then I get my hair and makeup done and then just quickly slide into my dress.